Established in 1909, the hospital was a self-sufficient facility with a number of production buildings, including a 700-acre farm. After it closed down in 1973, the property was handed over to the county to turn into a recreation center. Some parts of the complex are still in use for a job court, but other buildings are open for the public to explore. In 1909, Washington had two mental hospitals, Western State in Stillicum and Eastern State Medical Lake near Spokane. The institution reached maximum capacity. Instead of making these facilities bigger, the state decided to build a third mental institution, Northern State Hospital. In 1911, Northern State officially opened their doors to Cedar Woolley and quickly became the largest asylum in the state. Patients would be sent there from eight counties, including Skagit, Whatcom, Snohomish, King, Jefferson, San Juan, Kalalum, and Island. Northern State treated their patients with occupational therapy in hopes that physical labor on the farm would help their recovery. However, they also used a number of other unethical techniques to cure mental illness, like electroshock therapy and lobotomies. Many patients were enrolled in training to prepare them for their eventual release from the hospital. Several were also sterilized following the central belief that the treatment was not only for their own good, but society's as well. While there were some people enrolled with mental illness, not all should have been there. Some men reportedly committed their postmenopausal wives, and there were even children sent for what have been likely diagnosed as ADD today. The total number of patients who died here is rumored to be in the thousands. Behind the facility's gymnasium is a graveyard full of unmarked graves, which have become overgrown over time. Approximately 1,500 people are buried in the Northern State Cemetery while there is only one tombstone. Since the hospital closed in the blocks that identified the deceased patients by initials, most of the records pertaining to burials were lost when the hospital closed. A crematorium was in use from 1913 to about 1955. When Northern State Hospital was closed, there were 204 containers of cremated remains stored in the morgue. The morgue attendant had never gotten around to burying them. The unclaimed ashes were buried in Hawthorne Cemetery in Mount Vernon. Since the facility shut down, there have been a number of ghost sightings and paranormal investigations all throughout the building. The most common apparition reported is a little girl with a red ball and a male ghost searching for her. The hospital closed in 1973 has been used by job corps as well as a drug rehab facility since then.